at you. Yes, he is will do, yeah. <laughs> there was a reason for the hesitation as far as I was concerned. You see, I've got eyes and elbows on the card, but I looked across at the invigilator who said, yes, up to your ears as well. So there we are, eyes, ears and elbows. And it's your choice. L, please. You want the L. What L is where to put sleepers, studs, or e Yes, Kirsten? Lobes. In the lobes of the ear. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so, two whites and two blues so far, and it's the girl's choice. M, please, Bob. You want the M. What M are religious nonconformists? Yes, Katrina. Monks. No. David, what M are religious nonconformists who attend chapel? Methodists. Yes, that's the one, Methodists. <laughs> Good. All right so far, and you have the choice again. Um, A, please, Bob. I'm going to go for the A at the top, right. What A comes before May and showers? Yes, David? April. That's right. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> it's right. It was quite a good, complicated question. What A becomes comes before May and showers or fool? It was April. You got it without the end bit. April comes before May in the calendar, just in case anybody wanted to know at home. What do you want, David? G, please, Bob. G at the bottom. What G lived in the lamp belonging to a... <coughs> Kirsten got there. Genie? The genie, yes, Aladdin's lamp. <laughs> wow, well, good game, swinging from one side to the other. Now it's the girl's turn. I, please, Bob. I, little advice from your partner there. What I are the canine neighbours? <coughs> Incisors. Incisors next to canines. You thought it was the dog next door, didn't you? <laughs> no, all right, perhaps not. What I, depending on how you pronounce it, means null and void or a. Yes, David. Invalid. You're right. Well done. Yes. <laughs> Could be invalid or invalid, of course. You got it, and you've got the choice again. Uh, can I have N, please, Bob? Mm hmm. N. See why you're trying to fight your way down in a wonky fashion. What N goes before flame, eye, and truth? Yes, Katrina. Naked. Naked is correct, yes. <laughs> oh, goodness. It does go from one side to the other. The girls have it again. Little decision making going on. Can we have the Y, please? The Y? Then? Yes, indeed. Right down at the bottom left. What Y is the affirmative word? <laughs> yes, David. Yes. No. <laughs> Kirsten and Katrina, what why is the affirmative word which is partner to nay? Yes, Katrina? Yay. It's got to be yay. Yes, well done. <laughs> Sorry about that, David. It's one of those quirky ones that's put in specifically to trap somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Girls. Can I have an O, please, Bob? You can have an O, right. What O are Father William, Father Times and Father... <laughs> Yes, Katrina. Kirsten. Old. Old is right. Yes, well done. <laughs> Old Father William, Father Time, Father Thames. Old was the right answer. We've had a flashing blue light, in case you hadn't noticed. It means they've got a chance to get across there, and it's up to David to try and stop them. So, what are you going to do, girls? Uh, D, please. You're going to take that D. This could be it. What D is rolled or sprayed on under the arms. Yes, Katrina. Deodorant. Yeah, of course it is, and that's right, I say. <laughs> well, there you are. They're very quick, aren't they? Both sides are very quick in this. There's a reason for David's quickness. Of course, you're a member of the... Are you a member of the quiz team at school? Yeah, I was. I was last year. Yes, yes. Have you travelled around with this quiz team, or is it a local one? Yeah, we got down to the uh, finals of a certain insurance company's uh, quiz. Yes, but I thought I came last. you. Yes, I, I came down last year, I think it was, or the year before. That's right, and I, I recognised you in the distance in the team. Yes, how are you? All right? Yeah, fine. Oh, good. Well, <laughs> glad to know that. Kirsten and Katrina, do you go in for word games, trivia, quizzes and things at school or not? No, no, no. not really. So what's your main interest, Kirsten? Um, I really like sport. Really? Yes. Bit of an actress too, aren't we? <laughs> oh, come on, don't hide your light under a bushel. You are, aren't you? Um, I do have a little dabble in the village pantomime, yes. Ah, I see. <laughs> really good. Yes, All right. What, what was the latest dabble? Uh, Robinson Crusoe. Really? Who are you? Robinson Crusoe. Ah, there you see. <laughs> Katrina, you were right to nod, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, she does a lot of acting. And you, same thing? Are you acting? Well, I do a lot in the village. I do yeah. help with the brownies. Hello. Oh, good. <laughs> and um, a lot of other things yeah. in the village and things mm, like that. Good for you.
A village busybody, rather. Yeah, yeah, you've got it. <laughs> right, second game in the set of three coming up. Now, David's got to win this to stay in the running. He knows it all too well. He's got grim determination written all over his face. E is flashing on the board. This is the first question. What E can be visible or invisible and are sold overseas? Yes, David. Exports. You're right, exports. Well done. <laughs> Very quick on that answer. Now go um, for another. K, please, Bob. You want the K? Up at the top right. What K links a horse's head and cl Yes, David. Uh, needle. No, you took a chance, didn't you, really? Needle with a K, hmm? Yeah, right. <laughs> Kirsten and Katrina. <laughs> what K links a horse's head and Clement Freud? Well, the answer is knight, because the knight is a horse's head in chess, and he was one of the more recent knights conferred ex-liberal MP. There you are. What K is to Japan as sari is to India? Yes, David. Kimono. Kimono is correct, yes. <laughs> right, halfway there. What next? A for apple, please. Thought you might. Don't, it might be the answer. <laughs> it's not. What A can be globe or Jerusalem? Yes, David. Apple. No, <laughs> you didn't mean to say that, did no, you? No, I did, I see. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, that's honest of you. <laughs> Kirsten and Katrina. Have a go at this. What A can be globe or Jerusalem, but in each case is a shoot or a root vegetable? Yes, Kirsten. Artichoke? It's artichoke, yes. <laughs> David giving an artichoke in the corner. <laughs> now, what do you want next? Uh, F, please, Bob. <laughs> Sorry. What F is falling snow blown in all directions by a light... <laughs> yes, Kirsten. Flurry? That's the word. Flurry, yes. Well done. Right, we're two of each colour now, and it's the girl's choice for the next one. R, please, Bob. Ah, I was betting in my mind you'd go for S, but you took R, which is <coughs> quite right. What R is a person who has absconded? <coughs> yes, David? Refugee. No, not in this particular question. Sorry about that. Kirsten and Katrina. What R is a person who has absconded or a horse that has bolted? Yes, Kirsten. Runaway? Yes, it's a runaway. Yep, another one. <laughs> Gotta watch these interruptions, haven't we? Right, Kirsten and Katrina, your turn for the next one. S, please, Bob. General assent, it's S, and this is the question. What S, used in the plural, is money put by for future use? Yes, David. Savings. That's the one, savings, yes. <laughs> well, you stop their trail across the board now, and you've got one for yourself. Where do you want to go? Um, I, please, Bob. Go for the I, try and round that bend if you can. What I describes a temptation which can't be refused. Yes, David. Irresistible. That's the one again. Yes, good luck. <laughs> now then, where? Um, G, please, Bob. Mm -hmm. I see you're getting those over first before you tackle the one that might get in their way. What G goes before town? <laughs> Heavens, Katrina. Ghost. Writer and moth. You are right. It is ghost. Yes. Fast guesses in this one, and some inspirational ones. Now, girls, what are you going to do? Can we have the C, please? The C, <laughs> right. You're doing the same thing, aren't you? What C could be a trick, but it's a way of getting a player out in baseball? <laughs> or cricket, or any other sport. Catch is the answer. Yes. What C is a densely populated area where lots of towns... Yes, David. Conurbation. That's the word. Yes, well done. Conurbation it is. Right, he's almost got that uh, connection. He's got a flashing white light. I'll finish that because you may have thought it could have been something else. Lots of towns have grown and met and there are no apparent boundaries. Had to be a conurbation. He got it right and he's got a chance at the bottom there. You going to take it, Dave? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> be silly not to, aren't you? Right, Kirsten and Katrina, stand by for this. What tea do you break if you finish first? David? Tape. Is right! That's right, <laughs> There we are. Very good indeed. Let me tell you what these scores are, in case you hadn't noticed. It's quite interesting. They're one game all, as we know all too well, having started right at the very beginning of the match. <coughs> £55 to one side and £55 to the other. And when, of course, we say £55 to the double team, it means £55 each. So you're all sitting pretty and sitting equally. Uh, I said there was a, a break for a moment. Well, there is a break, not only in the game, but also in the show for a couple of minutes. But it should be an exciting third game. Don't go away.
Baby coming in Mumsy and Dadsy's car. <coughs> no, little Johnny wants a nice ride in his Nana and Grandpa's car, doesn't he? Coming with Auntie Mabel and Uncle James. <laughs> Does Johnny want to come in Uncle Tom's Nova? <laughs> the Nova from Vauxhall. Once driven, forever smitten. The McDonald's Quarter Pounder is so beefy, with so many trimmings, we thought you might like some extra fries to go with it. So order a Quarter Pounder and large fries, and we'll give you 25% more fries free. McDonald's Quarter Pounder. The beefed up hamburger with beefed up fries. Now you can share in a new society. Nationwide Anglia Building Society. We don't just have more branches than any other building society, or more ways for you to invest or buy your home. Nationwide Anglia gives you a real financial alternative, with people who want to help you make the most of your money, people ready to see it your way. A building society really can be this different. Come in and put us to the test. Nationwide Anglia. Helping you make the most of your money. A catalog's out that's bright and new and so easy. It's full of big things, low prices too, it's so easy. A thousand new ideas inside. Pick it up and you'll find at Argon. Welcome back as we go into the third game in a set of three, featuring the following players. David Gatenbury from South Park Sixth Form College in Middlesbrough, who wants to go on the Trans-Siberian Railway, sooner or later. Yeah. Kirsten Beat from St Genevieve's Convent in Dorchester, who in fact wants to be a lawyer in good time. And Katrina, uh, Katrina Woods, who in fact cooks a little, don't you? Oh yes, I'm the chef. Well, not really, they kill me for that, but I work in a little restaurant called The Horse With Red Umbrella, oh. and I sort of cook the odd toasted sandwich. Ah, I see. <laughs> Serves me right for asking. One thing I meant to mention about the school, it's the smallest sixth form in the world, isn't it? Well, well we're not we sure about that. so, yeah, there's four from... of us. Four of you? Yeah. And there's two of us here. <laughs> What's the teacher-to-pupil ratio, then? Um, one to one. One to one. That's the way to teach, isn't it? <laughs> Goodness me. Right, here we go, into the third game. R is flashing on the board. Should be an important one, because it goes to a first gold run, whichever way it goes. So, let's play Blockbuster. <laughs> R it is. What R, everybody, is the same thing happening over and over. Yes, David. Repetition. Repetition is right. Yes, well done. <laughs> I had to look along the line. It's got recurrence, recurring, and a whole lot more, and repetition's right at the end. Well done. You've got the point. Um, e, please, Bob. You want that E at the bottom? What E involves Lazy Daisy Stitch, Chain Stitch, Satin Stitch, and Katrina? Embroidery. Right. Well done. <laughs> well involved, and it's your Can turn. Can we have the S? Please, Put the S over on the right. What S is a cord tied onto a weight in a window, or is a word... Yes, David? Sush. That's it, which goes before all three, yeah. <laughs> right, two whites, one blue so far, and your choice, Dave. D, please, Bob. D. Mm -hmm. What D has the value of one thirty-second of a semi-breathe? Yes, David? Uh, D. No. 
Kirsten and Katrina, what D has the value of one thirty-second of a semibrieve? Yes, it's Katrina? A demi-quaver. No, it's not. <laughs> You're on the right lines. It's a demi-semi-quaver. <laughs> ah, well, you can't win them all. Here's another. What D is a small area of weaving for mending woolen clothes? Yes, Kirsten. Darn? Darn or darning? Yes, that's the answer. <laughs> Something of a dying art these days, isn't it? Yes, darning. OK, on you go. You, please, Bob. You, right. What you, all three of you, were the guarantors who came to the rescue in the... <laughs> yes, David. Underwriters. Yes, you're right. Well done. <laughs> you can't tell with this three, can you? The, the people I was going to mention were the ones in the BP share issue, but if you want it your way, fine. Underwriters is that's, right. That's where all A-level economics comes in useful. A-level economics. Just about the only, <laughs> the only use for it. I see. <laughs> in quizzes. <laughs> No Dave, use in the exams. Would, would you like to choose a left? Yeah, well, fine. Oh, sorry. A, please. OK. <laughs> Top left. Everybody, what A was a Roman slave who was the saviour of a large feline with a poorly foot? Yes, David. Androcles. Yes, Androcles and the lion, yes. <laughs> well, now, girls, he's got four, you've got two, and it's David's choice for the next one. M, please, Bob. You want the M. Here we go. What M is made from a from kiln-dried barley, which has already been soaked. Yes, Katrina. Malt. Yes, Katrina, well done. <laughs> Malt it is. Leapt nearly out of her chair, <laughs> settling down another choice. Can we have the tea, please, Bob? A tea, by general agreement. What tea calls all other drivers on the highway road hogs? <laughs> yes, David. Temperamental. No, no, no. Kirsten and Katrina. What T calls all other drivers on the highway road hogs? Yes, Katrina? Toad. Toad. Wind in the willows. Yes. <laughs> well, now, that's even things up. We've got four of each colour, and it's as even as the all games have been so far. What do you want next? Can we have the C, please? The C, to try and knit those two together. What C are punched and used for storing coded... <laughs> yes, David. Cards. Cards. Punched cards. Yes. <laughs> Right, it's back to you. F, please, Bob. F, right. What F, including the Speaker or his deputy, is a quorum in the House of Commons? Silence greeted that question. It's a number I was after, you could have guessed. 40 was the answer, 40. What F is the radio call sign for the letter F? David? Foxtrot. Yes, you've got it, it is, Foxtrot, well done. Not only did he get that answer right, he's got the flashing white light as well. Well, he's got a couple of choices he can take there. Girls, are you all set to go for this? You've got to. It's the third game, don't forget. David, what do you want? H, please, Bob. H, right. What H is a measurement which has to register under... Yes, Kirsten? Hector? No, it's not. No, it's not. David, you get the whole question. What H is a measurement which has to register under 14.2 for a pony? And... That's the answer! <laughs> David flopping back, exhausted into his seat. Well, I think, I think those were three of the most evenly matched games we've played for many, many years on Blockbusters. Thank you, girls, very much Thank indeed. You. Thank you. You, in fact, came along with your, your hairy haggis and the lovely dog <laughs> with the Scots collar and all that, and you've got to take them away now, but you don't only take those. You take our good wishes, plus £75 each which is pretty good, isn't it? £75 each, and the blockbuster sweatshirt and the dictionary and the personal fact file as well. I know you're itching to shake hands with David <laughs> and say goodbye to him. <laughs> so we do. Can we just say thank you very much? We've had a wonderful time since you've been, been here. Really brilliant. It's been fantastic. Well, they deserve a round of applause <laughs> for that, don't they? Thank you, girls. Oh, dear me, here we go. Well, there we are, keenness and eagerness. So, away they go. And David now is well bolstered, I think, to take that gold run. It's his first gold run. Full of enthusiasm, you can see that. <laughs> uh, hence the shakes. Right, David, have a look at the board. That's what you're going to be going across. Now, as long as you speak quickly, take it easy as you answer the questions and get across here within a minute, you'll be the winner of that first gold run. All he has to do is to do it clearly and steadily. So let's ask you, David, for the first time, to put yourself on the hot spot, please. <laughs> Right, David, uh, above all, take it easy, relax. 
Tell us where you want to start on the left. It's gold to gold in 60 seconds or less. We'll start our clock. OS. Men in relation to women or vice versa? Opposite sex. Yes. S-S-E. No lick letter cover? Self... Yes. Uh, B-A-B. Hinged car body parts, front and back? Boot and bonnet. Yes. S-C. Timepiece known as Tim? Speaking clock. Yes. T-H. Filled with soldiers to recapture Helen? Trojan horse. Yes. W-S. Time of the longest night of the year? O-A-S. Both carried by the monarch at a British coronation. Auburn sphere. Not sphere. M-S. Beethoven's work, Opus 27, number 2. D-E. Form of simple bookkeeping? Uh, D-H. Known for his militancy as deputy leader of the Liverpool City Council. Derek Hutton. Yes. T-I-O-M. Warning date for an emperor in 44 B.C. The item March yes. S.W. Metal fibres for cleaning, not knitting. No, you missed it. Never mind. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> David, I can tell you, I can tell you, you got stuck. And once that happens, your mind just clicks out of sync. But I can tell you, you actually did the right thing. And you went for as many as you could because you saw you weren't going to make it to the end. You, in fact, added £60 pounds to your total in that short while. The ones you missed out on, coming from the left to right, were no lick letter cover was a self-seal envelope. You very nearly got that one, you know. The form of simple bookkeeping is double entry. Sp speaking clock you got. Steel wool was the very last one that we tackled. Beethoven's work was the Moonlight Sonata. And those two in the end row, the Winter Solstice. You actually, no, didn't know it, never mind. And at the bottom, it was the Orb and Scepter. Orb and Scepter. But never mind, you've got £150 now, which is very good indeed for this stage of the game. Retake your seat and give him a round of applause. I think it was very good indeed. Well, there he goes. And as I said to him, he did, didn't he? He did do the right thing by going for that money and actually not hesitating and stopping, as so many do on that first gold run. Right, time to meet two new contestants. So, again, a big round of applause, please, this time for Stuart Rusted and Richard Dawson. You know, you two, I've remarked uh, during the course of this series on the number of King Edward VI schools. I, I didn't yeah. know there were so many in the country. Yours yeah. is in Bury St Edmunds, right? Yes? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so well, I'm just checking. It might have been somewhere else. And I notice you both want immortality and fame in the field of sport. Mm. Like that, yes, yeah. good. Fine. Yeah, that would do me. Yeah, that's fine. OK, well, yeah. would you sort of seal the, the, the welcome here and shake hands with our champion at the moment? He's eager to shake hands with anyone who comes by. Right, that's it. David Stewart and Richard, all set to do the first game in a set of three. Let's start, shall we? Let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> Now, see how quickly we can get this one. It's a T. What T is the word for the decorations put up at Christmas? Or, yes, Stuart? Tinsel. No. David, what T is the word for the decorations put up at Christmas or the accompaniments to the roast? Turkey. No, it's trimmings. Trimmings is the answer to that. I just thought I'd give you a taste, so to speak, with that roast. Ho, ho. Because that's the end of the show for this particular occasion. We'll be back right at the beginning of the next Blockbusters to carry on with this game and see who will end up on the hotspot. Join us, won't you? Goodbye for now. <laughs> holiday time in catchphrase with a fast as i wins the biggest prize you got to remember the golden rule if you see it say it here's a tomahawk tomahawk's right and next the a team take a holiday but it turns out to be less peaceful than they hoped With a taste as famous as ours, Heinz really is. Super Troopers. Like good old Heinz chicken soup, just one of the much-loved soups in a range that's always made Heinz Britain's favourite.
Super grand. Gone really does look nice. Heinz chicken soup. Not so long ago, the easiest way to talk to a friend in West Germany was by letter. To telephone took time and meant swallowing a nasty bill. But that was before British Telecom International direct dialing. Today you can dial direct, get through in seconds, and chat happily for three minutes for just one pound and one penny. Are you really coming home? No other country does more to keep friendships alive. But no other country has IDD from British Telecom. This is the one every actor wants. The golden chocolate. I think I've received this award because I'm so smooth and velvety and totally irresistible. All this would not have been possible without my friends. So what I'd really like what? to do is whisper. You're thinking chocolate. You're talking whisper. It's a challenge buying your own home, so best not leave it to chance. The right people can help you from the word go, advise on the right kind of mortgage, on the legal setup, surveys. They'll ensure the place and what's in it. And when you feel improvements coming on, they can lend you more money without charging a higher rate of interest. Anything's possible with the Woolwich. On every American Express card, there is one word we take very seriously. Member. American Express customer service. I've managed to lose my wallet. Mr. Gardner, I'll have a new card for you by tomorrow. And membership opens up a whole world of opportunities. It's great. Don't deliver it. I'll ride it home. Oh, that'll do nicely. Sorry we're so late. But we made an assured reservation. American Express, of course. We've kept your rooms for you. To find out more about the privileges of membership, pick up a leaflet. When you put Esso petrol or diesel in your tank, you're not only getting quality you can count on. You're getting an Esso Tiger token for every six pounds worth of fuel you buy. And whether you're a high or low mileage driver, you have a variety of quality gifts to choose from. So collect your Tiger tokens and put a Tiger in your tank. Where you see the Esso collection sign. Station 97.3 FM. The big match live Sunday 2:30. It's the FA Cup fourth round, and the runaway leaders of the first division, Liverpool, take on Aston Villa, one of the outstanding teams in the second. The big match live, Aston Villa versus Liverpool, Sunday 2:30 on ITV. Roger Moore is 007, licensed to kill in Octopussy. Um, to be your target for tonight? Necessarily. You have a nasty habit of surviving. DJ, we have company. No problem, this is a company car. 
Roger Moore as James Bond in the television premiere of Octopussy tonight, 7.15 on LWT. You're watching LWT. Now the A-team are off on holiday for a change, but their quiet trip turns out to be anything but peaceful. We're going somewhere nice and quiet without any distraction. You're all under arrest. Give yourself up. I should have known better than let them fool plan our vacation. If they twitch, shoot to kill. I'm going to show these guys what a weekend in the country is really like. I mean, we're messing around with the A-team here. In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team.